It's not going well this morning. We Dogs have, are going crazy. We have no water. Yeah. We do have water. No drinkable, potable water. Potable? Potable. Potable. Uh, we haven't filtered any water with that filter we have, and we don't have bottle. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Y'all were already crazy. We, we already played game. hardcore. Yeah. Um, but at this point, um, we would be drinking coffee out here. Uh, luckily we already are a cup in, but if you guys are interested, you already know the drill. It's uh work life coffee, coffee.com. And you can go get the uh, night shift four pack for the price of three. Use the code crockers. Uh, it, it'll be pre-ordered there. I think maybe it's back in stock now at this the point. 30th. I don't know what the date is. I think today's the 20. Yeah, no, it's a Today's the 27th, as you guys are watching this, it's 28th. Yeah, boom. So, at this point, you guys have already hopefully seen all that finished back there. And uh, that means Monday, it's a go to pour concrete. Hutcha. There's no sun to look at. I know. But, um, oh, there you go. Good thing uh, fart didn't slip out. That would have been, huh? been embarrassing. Oh. oh. Um, but, uh... Yeah, so we have, unless it changes from now till when they get done here, again, we're talking beforehand, uh, but they told us yesterday that it was going to be, uh, calm down, she'd been laughing about this all day. Um, <laughs> I just love that, just every cop of the crockers we just say. Say what? We're oh, talking about getting like concrete. Like a surprise. Well, we do have surprises that happen in our lives, but... <laughs> Um, Monday to have it is going to be freaking awesome. I'm pumped. And then they said, uh, the cooler the weather, the longer it takes to dry and the hotter, the quicker it takes to dry. You got to meet in the middle and I'm hoping that's what the temperature's at. And then once it's poured, we'll put water on it. And they said, you cannot overwater it. We can leave a sprinkler going the whole time. The longer it takes to cure, the better. And uh, I didn't know this, but they told me it takes, everyone always says it takes 21 days for it to fully cure. But that's not 100% true. To fully cure, to get on there and use and do all that with heavy machinery. But they said it doesn't even cure for like 100 years. That uh, dog's moving it. Um, it it's always um, moving. It'll, it'll either absorb, get a little bit bigger, or it'll... Uh, um, shrink on you. It's constantly moving. That's what causes cracks and, and all that stuff. And it depends on the weather, depends on your soil, depends on just a bunch of things. But they said that uh, no matter what, this slab will crack. It's just more of when you put rebar and you do it all correct, every slab you could think of cracks, whether you could see it or not because of uh, maybe a tile down or flooring or whatever, but every slab cracks and then um, uh, it just they don't know where it's going to crack and don't know when it'll crack. But when it does crack, they said you can't even get a razor blade into that crack. That's how like tight it stays. So that was reassuring mm -hmm. to know um, we're going to deal with cracks. We don't know where it'll be. But in my way of seeing it, you guys are going to be blown away when the house is done, what it's going to look like. But it'll give the floor character. Mm -hmm. And they're going to do a finish on it that I'm not sure if we've actually ever personally seen. It's been done. Yeah. But I don't know if we've actually personally ever seen it. I've never seen it. That little. Yeah, you messing with your nail over that. No. Oh, that little splinter. Yeah. It's in my shinder. I lost my knife at Paragon's. I was say, when's the last place we had it? It fell in between the, the couch. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Um, but uh, they don't even know that till now. Well, next time we go over there. Yeah, I'll get it. Yep. Uh, oh, Lucy. Lucy. But, um, Why'd you act like that? No, 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 no. She said. We're trying to teach her. We've been trying to teach her forever. Yeah. She just don't learn. No, she just does a little smile. No, and then no, it's... no, no, no. You made this look like a fool out yeah, here. Yeah, you, uh, you don't see her. <laughs> no. Constantly She'll, just putting a paw. No. She just puts her paw up and then you put nope. it down to do it again. Um, She's like, I gotta touch you. But uh, that's her love language. Is it touch. is. It is. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, we're gonna return her. 
<laughs> but um, she just loves you so much. Yeah, at least someone does around here. Lucy. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> anyways, they'll be out here any minute, and um, I. I couldn't say enough nice things about them. How much they've truly let me learn, let me ask questions. Um, it's it's not normal for you to hire someone and then want to be involved. Norm. Well, some people bird dog, and oh, I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to bird dog. I'm trying to learn, and yeah. so I'll go up and ask questions, and maybe you see it in the videos on the crocker if I go up or whatever. Um, I'm trying not to bug them. I'm just trying to learn, and I think they're okay with it. Because when they're waiting on dirt to show up or whatever, they'll just sit there and I'll just, like, we'll talk about different things and um, we'll talk about YouTube or stuff around here. And then I'm asking questions or giving us advice how to finish the floor. There's way more to it than I ever thought. Um, the type of finish, um, when to stain it, when to not stain it, what type of stains, what finishes are good, what's not. Oh, well, why? Um, they did say don't get the lows epoxy. Yeah, that it will not withstand everyday use within a year. It'll mess up. Um, they said just trust us on that one. Don't waste your time or money that you're going to be miserable. So I'm curious if any of y'all have ever sealed up concrete <clears throat> and um, the the pros and cons of it. But they told us we could throw in different color if we want, whatever. We just don't know. And once you do that, it's in there. And um, I think we're going to, if we stain it, we'll stain it later once we get a good feel of the house and everything like that. And they said also, whenever you finish your floor for a good while, it's going to smell like it. Mm. Um, there's nothing you can do about it, the chemicals and all that stuff. So... You want to finish your floor last because you don't want to finish it and then work on it. You're going to mess it up. So maybe it'll be one of those where we finish it, kind of keep all the windows open, kind of give it a good little bit of time, let like the AC run, do all that. And mm -hmm. luckily we spend most of our day outside. So um, there's just not a lot you can do about it. And I know a lot of people say too is like, don't put treated lumber in your house because of the chemicals. Don't do this. Unfor everything's about chemicals. Everything. Um, mm -hmm. nothing is pretty much fully natural. I mean, even just your normal lumber, uh, just everything has some form of something in it. Uh, but the paint, everything. So we're just trying to keep it to a minimum of the smells and all that type of stuff. And then, um, you know, we'll see how it goes. But I do think some of y'all are, again, picking up the pieces of what's going on. I do like it. Um, I like reading the comments. That's why, unfortunately, we see bad comments as well. Um, I was telling Danielle, too, the reason we focused on the bad comments over the last couple of videos is more of it brings up a lot of stuff that answers questions for people that may not know. People say it in a wrong way. Um, well, yeah, but um, for anyone that missed it, uh, people do want to know these things. Um, and we have to read through the comments to find the good. But it could also be that we're reading it wrong. Yeah, no. Too. Uh, when you click on someone's profile, it'll give you all their comments, whether y'all know this or not. Mm. I click on it, and it'll tell you every comment. When every comment is talking trash, they ain't they meant it that way. Yeah. So we do understand uh, constructive criticism, and we're all for it. And same thing, um, you guys will see in the video later. We actually switched our uh, no, you already watched it. We uh, switched our bath bathroom tub thing we put a bucket and one of you guys actually told me that mm -hmm. and uh well told us i read it but um that's what's kind of funny to me is no one caught that that if you did square it would crack mm -hmm. from the comments that i saw no one caught it and just one guy said that he couldn't find one so he did that and then the concrete people said any thing you do if you don't want cr the least amount of cracks don't do a square even normal um like our footers and stuff, they're like, your corners will never stay square. And we can look at all our footers and they're all kind of chipped and yeah. whatever. So maybe that's why they make the pillars that come out of the ground circle. I don't know. We we're trying to learn. And that's why I just, I'm trying to pick their brain as much as I can for everything without bothering them. Um, I want to know some when we do maybe the concrete in our barn or sidewalks or for little 
chicken coops or whatever, I have a way better understanding. I always thought just add more water, add more water. It'll last longer before it dries. But the more water you add, the less strength it has. He was, he was like, do you want a... Uh, 4,000 PSI, 3,500, 2,000. I'm like, I don't know what that means. Yeah, like, it's like that means we'll add more water to it and go further, yeah, but then it's not going it's to not be as strong. It's not being strong. I know what PSI means and all that, but I didn't understand. What does it stand for? Pounds per square inch. Okay. Don't test me. Don't test me. You try. You thought you were going to call me out on that. I, know no, what I was it just mean. wondering because I didn't know what it means. Pounds per square inch. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, being able to learn these things, I always thought, again, just add more water so it doesn't dry. And they do say water is your friend, but I think that's more of after the fact. And then, um, even down to how they pour it when they, cause you want plastic as a vapor barrier, but then it also makes it harder. They're like, yeah, that since we're putting plastic, it makes it a lot harder. I'm like, well, why? They're like, well, where's the water going? And I'm like, Oh, so when it sits, water wants to come to the top of concrete. It doesn't stay at the bottom. It, wants to, it either is going to soak through or it's going to start rising. And if it can't soak through to the ground, it's going to start rising. And once it rises, I said, what do you do? You scrape it off. They said, no, you wait because all that water is supposed to be in there. So then you have to wait for it to dry. And then you do what you need to do. I, in the past, have kind of taken the water off. Mm -hmm. So luckily, a lot of stuff that we do hasn't been crazy stuff um the most concrete that we've done is the footers for the deck but they're so small and everything it's fine and it soaks into the ground so it's a lot different but there's there's things like that that i didn't know if we do better stop if we do the barn it doesn't matter if water comes up or out of it we don't need plastic because who cares and plus also yeah. if animals get on it and pee and stuff you don't want it to stay soaked in there and then he also told us you can put, um, uh, what did he call it? Shale. If you put shale on the bottom and then you do your slab and all type of stuff. He okay. said, even too, he said, put shale in there and then put shavings because mm -hmm. the shell will soak up the pee and help with the smell. Mm -hmm. But if you, there's, I don't know. I learned a lot. There's a lot of different, I don't want to misquote him and give y'all wrong information. But um, he gave we, us a lot of information. We, For one, we told them they need their own TV show. Oh, yeah. If somebody followed them around and did it'd a YouTube like, channel it'd be of like just... like Wicked Tuna or oh. uh, what's the other big fishing? Uh, Deadliest Catch. Yeah, so it would but be better. like that. Or like the gold mining stuff, yeah. but like concrete crew. Oh, they're... They're hilarious. So, like, you just... I can just sit out here and... Oh, yeah. Watch them all day. It's... They're super funny. Um, we just we just need to get them on camera. Yeah. I'm going to try to film. Uh, hopefully, I've already seen a little bit of them mm -hmm. um, on the Crocker video. But Y'all love them. Yeah, they're they're pretty funny. Yeah. Um, Guarantee next meetup we can get them to come. Probably. I bet he would. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot of them watch our channel now, and um, we think it's awesome. I don't know if they watch this stuff. They may just watch some of the Crocker stuff. Went back and binge-watched and looked at things, and... Um, it's always cool, like, whenever you hire someone to come out and they're just here to do a job, and then you're like, man, these people are, like, cool. Um, mm -hmm. They like us. We like them. They started looking at our YouTube stuff, and uh, the the boss was just like, man, I really like it out here. I think I'm going to miss it when we're not here no more. <laughs> and uh, it's a good feeling to know that, and I kind of um, take it back. It's something that I remember as a kid. We were getting new carpet put in our house. We were young. We were little. And uh, we had a basketball goal outside, and we always were out there shooting hoops. And the carpet people, there were two guys, and um, they were helping us. And every time they'd come out to get tools or whatever, we'd throw them the basketball, mm -hmm. and he'd shoot it. He said, there it is. Yeah. Every time, it, there it is. Yeah. And so we got to the point where every time we would shoot, we'd be like, there it is. Yeah. And um, uh, at the end of the day, we ended up, I remember my mom cooked spaghetti, and we, all, they, we asked them to stay and eat dinner. They ate dinner with us, mm -hmm. and... It just became when someone's around you for a week, two weeks working and you get to talk to them and all that stuff like um, you really, I don't know, become friends or whatever. But it's like uh, kind of like we we're talking yesterday and all that stuff. Of like, get a little bond. Yeah, you bond. You get to know people to different backgrounds and, and different stuff. And um, I kind of feel like that's how it is with these guys that yeah. at the end of it, I said, man, 
y'all need to hurry up and leave so we can drink. And they said, well, why should we leave then? Yeah. Why would we want to leave? We'll drink with you. And I said, because I don't want y'all drinking all our stuff. Um, <laughs> but uh, it was just one of those that I, I guarantee if we just had an ice chest, some drinks, they would have just sat down at the end of the day and just hung out hung out for a while. It and um, Super funny. Yeah. that I... I like it when we hire someone and it's like that. It's it 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 feels good to know that these people actually care, mm-hmm. um, and I really do think they care. And I think they're gonna um, not that they wouldn't go the extra mile, but I do feel like they're g- taking the extra steps to make sure that we have a really good experience. And um, I called him one day when it was raining. I said, "Man, I don't think we're gonna be able to do this and whatever." He said, "I'm gonna let you know right now. You are top priority." And I said, "That's what I like to hear." When you hire someone, they whether you're top priority or not, they make yeah. you feel that way. And then he goes, everybody's top priority. Yeah. But- <laughs> and I said, well, you're not making me feel special. But when someone makes you feel like you're a priority, that goes a long way, especially when it comes down to business. And we've gone to some stuff where we go in and mm-hmm. we're doing stuff and we feel like, oh, man, these people like it was the, the forerunner stuff and this and that. And. Not where we had been going. Something we're yeah. talking about. Not same day auto. They're um, great. Yeah, they're they're they figured it out. They're awesome. Yeah. Um but we've taken it elsewhere before and went in a couple of days later, they didn't even know who we were. And yeah. It, it's like, all right, I get it, but like you can't like we drove the four runner out today. Um we didn't have to get supplies and stuff, luckily, so we left the truck at the house. Um we're trying to work on that. But uh mm-hmm. um the ninety one. Yeah. It it I told Danny, I said, I know that we can't feel special to everybody, but when you do, it just goes such a long way. But when you go in and they don't even remember who you are mm-hmm. or anything, like, uh, it just it just hurts a little bit. That's what, same day auto, they do the same thing where they make you feel special. Oh, too. yeah. I told Danielle, I said, I haven't even called the shop in months. Yeah. I have the personal phone number of the guy that is in charge of all the stuff on our vehicle mm-hmm. and text and call and yeah. he keeps us updated and, and all of it. And, um... Um, it's just a great experience, and then that's how we feel when we go to a meetup and we remember someone from the last meetup or from the comment. And they're like, "Oh yeah," like we may not see like know their face, but they're like, "Hey, we're so and so on you." Oh yeah, y'all have commented this, or like maybe we don't remember the name or anything, but they're like, "Yeah, I'm the one that commented that you." Str-. We're like, "Oh yeah," like mm-hmm. you have that bond, and I hope it makes those people feel just as good as when we feel the set, you know. Um, I don't know. It feels good. It's excited like, right now. I know. It, it, it's a good feeling. And it's like the other day at Walmart, uh, we were leaving. They had to have seen us inside. Um, mm. But we're getting in. I'm literally about to like climb into the vehicle and we hear a car driving by. And they say, hey, it's, we. It's the truck. So you got to climb. Yeah, you got to climb in. And they're like, hey, we love your channel. And I turn around. And they just like drive by. And I'm like, oh, they're like it felt good. And that was such a great interaction. It yeah. wasn't a weird one or nothing. Like not saying all our interactions are weird, but sometimes, sometimes they're weird. Um not everyone's normal out there, uh, but um, very few people are normal out there. Uh, <laughs> um, it felt good that they like, it was just like, a, hey, you know, and it's stuff like that. Like you feel important and we hope that we can make y'all feel that way, whether it's in a comment. Like there's people like Butch Brown just sticks out. You see Butch Brown and like, I see his comment and I get pumped. Mm-hmm. You know, there's stuff like that. And then someone actually, um, it was uh I hope I don't get her name wrong now. I'm pretty sure it's Debbie, the one that slings shirts. Oh, yeah. She changed just recently changed her name to, like, Packer Fan or something. Yes. So, I think that's why I was, like, I had to look at the picture. Yeah. Because uh, it's, like, her and her daughter or somebody in the photo or somebody. something like that. Um, I can't remember the photos uh-huh. a little. But someone, she commented and said something about, like, I'm just here for the... Uh, um, the rambling, because I said that in the last, and they said, oh, you just here to try to feel special. And I said, no, they are special. We yeah. actually know her. Yeah. Like, don't sit here and try to downplay somebody. Like, we actually know people from YouTube that watch, and it's, we will never forget. It's just here for the rambling. Yeah, anybody that comes to the meetups, we'll probably never forget you. Um, yeah. When we actually have real interact, people we meet at Walmart or in town or wherever, like, it means something. And it's the same thing. I will probably never forget Moss Concrete ever. Oh, never. It will be it'll be just like the con or the uh, carpet people that when I was a kid, they're just you make in- impacts on people, and uh, whether you know it or not, and it's awesome. That, that to me that lets those people know, like you did you did something right. You made an impact. You're a nice person. You went above Positive and beyond. Impact. Yes, brother. This difference. You we remember people a- with negative 
impacts it, too. You got a negative impact. You got a little creepy impacts out there. We do remember them all. But the positives. The positives are the better ones to remember. So, yeah, try to make a positive impact on someone's life, wherever that may be. Um, I know people always get mad whenever I try to, like, make a lesson out of something or whatever. They're like, oh, Jason, oh. But it's like. How are they like? Oh. Oh, okay. Normally because they're choking on food. Mm. Okay. Don't be thinking like that. What? I, nothing slipped out. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Some people are going to start to catch on, but they'll never know exactly what we're talking about. But we think it's so funny. There was a moment that happened to us, not directly to us, but we were involved, <laughs> that was so funny that these people were watching. They'll know. Out of nowhere, for no reason, Danielle would have started laughing. I said, You got to stop. You gotta stop and just for no reason. She'll just be busting out laughing. <laughs> if y'all had any moments like that in your things. life, it's like I keep telling Jason. It's like you know when you're young and you watch your friend like fall in a funny way or whatever. In that, you can just go to bed at night and you just if that you just pops in giggling. your head. It just start giggling. I it, just I just be giggling. She's been giggling a lot lately, and uh, it's pretty funny. But um, <laughs> if I want to know if y'all made it this far, what's a funny story? <laughs> that y'all have had that makes you giggle over the years of thinking about it. And it could be with a friend, family, those husband, just, wife, whatever. Those moments are the most priceless yeah. moments that will make you, if you, if it makes you laugh for over the years, like I'm talking like a true laugh. Even if it makes you laugh the next day. Oh, that's like, those are the moments in life that is just, there's nothing better. Yeah. So truly. I would like to know. Um, some of y'all's are, but hopefully by the time we do the Coffee Crocker for the next video, they've got it all prepped good. And then Monday, if all goes according to plan, they should be here and pour it. And then, oh my gosh, game on. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to get a lot of what's going on. So um, hopefully you guys have a great day. Appreciate y'all. And uh, let us know your stories. All right, guys. Bye.